friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, happy to have you join our family. I feel like it has been forever since I have filmed and that's because it has been. But um, I am excited to be filming this collab video. Um, I did miss filming for Summer Rack. I was just too busy. I did pull polishes and I did have polishes on my rack, but I was just, I was too busy. Um, and so I didn't film, but I have definitely missed you guys. I have been thinking a lot about um, getting back into my YouTube channel and how I want to do that. I think I just kind of got bored with kind of the way I was doing things. And so I want to try and do something different, maybe come up with some different kinds of videos. Um, we also may go back to some of my old way of filming. <laughs> um, some of you may remember me filming in my car. Um, we may have to go back to that just because I, I have time restraints, y'all, serious time restraints. And I have so much that I want to share with you guys and I have ideas for different videos. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to like slide back in to filming my videos. Um, but this is a um, collab video for our fall rack. Um, I went a little crazy because my, my collection is insane and y'all, my ADHD was in full swing as I was trying to pick polishes and I just could not make a decision. Um, granted, I always pick too many because I like to have choices. Um, and then, you know, on the days when I'm just like undecided or whatever, it makes it a little bit easier for me if I have choices. Um, so I do over pick for that reason, <laughs> but I went way overboard this time. And um, let me just say, there's no way I'm gonna be able to wear all these polishes. But I do feel like I'm pretty good at coming up with different combinations and trying to make good use of um, like different formulas and trying to come up with different, um, you know, ways to be creative. So hopefully with the massive amount of polishes that I have pulled for this collab, I will be able to um, come up with some beautiful manis. Um, so that's the plan. That being said, I didn't go in with, um, a set way of pulling polishes. I have watched some other people's videos and I'm like, I didn't do it that way. A lot of people I feel like are pulling based on color, um, or like, you know, different categories. And I just kind of searched all of my drawers and pulled whatever looked fall appropriate and pretty. Um which hindsight is probably why I have so many. The one thing that I did do though, or I guess two things, um, I did try to pull polishes from my like older polishes. I have tons of untried y'all, like so many untrieds. So I tried to pull from like brands that maybe um, don't make polishes anymore or brands that we kind of just don't see as often around anymore. Um, some brands that I have like a few polishes and not a lot, but I've been, you know, really wanting to wear the polishes that I have from that brand and just some like polishes that I've had for a really long time. Um, just so I can get those on the nail because I am naturally drawn to my newer polishes and I have so many of those. <laughs> so I really tried to like rein it in and just like go through my drawers with my and search for like older polishes from like, you know, 2021, 2020, 2022. Um, it, my, my collection became insane so quickly. Um, and then I started swatching and now it's even more insane. Um, so that's kind of what has happened with that. The other thing that I did was I, um, I wanted to pull some mainstream polishes. I kind of don't have those on my rack, but I'm just kind of like throw them in there. They're kind of like off to the side, um, like in a little, I have them in like this little tray right here. So again, there's way too many of those. Um, but I'm just, I'm going to try not to stress it. I'm just going to wear as many of them as I can come up with as many like creative 
pretty minis as I can and see what happens. I'm usually pretty good about changing my polish every day or at least almost every day unless something comes up and I can't, you know, put on new polish. Um, but for the most part, I'm pretty good about that. Even if I'm swatching, I will, you know, I mean, I will stay up late to make sure I put on a polish that, you know, is part of my rack just so that I can get through them all. So I'm pretty good about that. I think with this, my summer rack, I might have had like maybe, I don't know, 15 polishes that I didn't wear. I did transfer, I think four or five of those to my fall rack just because, um, it is hot y'all it is still hot here and i am having a hard time getting into the fall like mood so i'm hoping to kind of use some polishes as transition polishes and i'll probably still wear those polishes off my um summer rack um that i decided to just kind of keep on my rack so currently that's my plan we'll see how it goes um this is a collab video so i will list all the other participants in the description back in the description box below um, this is always really exciting for us, and I'm excited to get back into it. I'm also excited for winter. Um, I have a strategy there, too. So the polishes that I um, don't wear for fall, I'm going to try to keep the polishes that are also winter appropriate, like towards the end, so that way I can transition them into my winter rack and then just add additional polishes if I need to. That's my strategy. That's my plan. So transition polishes first and then in between there you know there's Halloween and Thanksgiving so that kind of vibe for that time period and then going into winter I'll start kind of wearing my um, polishes that I can transition to my winter rack and we'll see what happens I don't want this video to be super long um, big shout out to Nurse Jackie and Amanda, the nail polish hound, who put together these collabs for us every season. Um, I think we have a lot of participants. I've been watching um, watching videos and there's a lot of participants this time, so that's super exciting. Um, I have a lot of polishes to share with you guys. I'm going to try to not be chatty, but I haven't done this in a minute, so it might be difficult, but I'm going to try to keep it, you know relatively short and just roll through um so fingers crossed that i can do that so i'm gonna end my intro and let's get to talking about the pop okay so let's talk about what's on my rack i don't know if you guys can't see my full rack over here but normally i will just use one side like from top to bottom for my racks um this particular time it has kind of floated onto the sides <laughs> And I forgot to mention in my intro, I am going to do an additional video for Halloween polishes, um, which I managed to rein it in and didn't pick too many of those. I just told my brain, like, only do specifically, like, Halloween vibish polishes, like, if it has a name related to Halloween or if it's just, like, screams Halloween. Like, those are the polishes I tried to pull. So there's not that many of those, so that'll definitely be a shorter video. But, um, I do have a lot on my fall rack <laughs> besides that. So I'm going to just try to not talk about them. I, I can't. We're, we're just going to just go from, do I usually go from bottom to top? We'll go from top to bottom. I'm not sure how I, I do this. And disclaimer, I also normally pull toppers, but I did not pull toppers this year. Um, not this year, for fall, because, um, I typically don't wear them um and it's usually because like i'll just pull random toppers and they don't happen to go with anything that i have on my rack so um i didn't want to do that this time and i was like yeah i'm not gonna do that i'm just gonna just like if i decide i want to wear a pop a type a topper with a polish i'll just pull from my topper drawer i have a whole drawer full of toppers um and i'll just do it that way that way i can make sure to choose toppers that are like calling me specific to that polish so that's my plan with that. Um, let's get started with the top, which I'm trying to like, it's like spilled over to the side here. Um, I did pull polishes and then I watched videos and I was like, oh, I need to add this one. I need to add that one. That was, that was a mistake I made. Um, but I did try not to like float to like polishes that other um, 
YouTubers were also putting in their videos just because I, I want to be different, you know, and I also didn't want to pull polishes that I've already worn. So these are all untried. I have too many polishes to justify rewearing my polishes, even though I have so many that I would love to rewear, but I just can't. I, I can't <laughs> have too many untrieds. So this one that I pulled, you know, I'm wearing my old glasses and um, I can't see up close with them. So hopefully I'll be able to read this. It would be the last unicorn that came to Molly Grew. This is from PPU October 20 and this is from um, Trio Lacquer. I have not seen them around. Do you guys know? You can comment below if they're still making polishes. I don't know. I could have just missed it but this is a thermal and it's from 2020 so I'm super interested to see if it still transitions and also it's like incredibly beautiful like insane. I have no idea what it transitions to. Um, I pulled another Trio Lacquer. This one is from PPU October 2022, Island of Mist. This one just looks very interesting to me and screams fall with those flakies. Um, there's a shift there, there's some shimmer, it's really pretty. I don't know, this really isn't brown. I'm not sure what you would call this color actually. <laughs> it's like a, it's not brown, I don't know what you would call it, but I'm thinking that's gonna be really pretty for fall. I also pulled Let's Stay in Bed All Day. This is from December 2021 PPU. And I have no idea what this stands for and I don't remember this brand. But um, I thought this was really pretty. Maybe you guys know, it's, it says this on the bottle. It's like SHP, I'm sure that stands for something. Um, you guys can again comment below if you know what that stands for. But I thought this would be um, perfect for fall. It's like screaming fall, right? Like that is so pretty to me. I'm living for that. I pulled some wildflower lacquers. I tried to not pull from brands that I'm so drawn to that I have so many of them, but I have so many of them, so I need to wear them. Um, wildflower lacquer is one of those brands that I just can't stay away from, apparently. Um, so this one is Dr. Frankenfurter. Um, this is from, it's a limited edition from Polish Flakes. Um, this is actually not that, um, like old. This is a newer polish, like I think maybe last year um, she released this one, but it's really pretty. And I don't typically, I'm not drawn to greens, but that one's really pretty. I also thought about swatching all of these for you guys, but that was going to push my video back even more. And I'm already like filming later than everybody else. So I was like, you know what? We're not going to um, have time to swatch everything, but I would have loved to have done that for you guys. This is Carnival Sass, and it looks like this is from June 2022 um, Polish Pickup in this wildflower lacquer. Look at that. I'm also really joined, uh, drawn to like shifty multi-chromes during the fall, so um, you're going to see a lot of those on my rack. A lot of shiftiness, a lot of multi-chromes. Multi um, this one is, I also didn't have time to shake all these up, so... Um, do the woohoo. This is from February 2023, so it's been a minute. Um, I remember really wanting this one when I saw it. Um, it's another multi-chrome. There's a beautiful shift there. I feel like this would be perfect for fall as well. Um, this is another wildflower. Gossip is the devil's telephone. Best to just hang up. This is from the Up the Creek Volume 4 collection. Um, I did buy a lot from... Um, the Schitt's Creek uh, kind of series that she did because I was just loving them and wanting all of them. This is a like um, like a brick red with a orange shimmer. Perfect for fall. Like it's not too like orangey red or not too ready red <laughs> or like apple red. Yeah, it's like right there in between, which I think is perfect. Um, this is no, from November 2020 PPU, Have a Ball, um, another wildflower lacquer. This one's a little bit lighter. I do typically um, go for darker, vampire colors during the fall, even though I wouldn't call myself a seasonal polish wearer, but I do, I am drawn to those. 
So I'll probably use this one as a transition polish. I think it'll be perfect for that. One more wildflower lacquer, Soul of a Mermaid, Mouth of a Sailor. This is from her Fantastic Fall collection. I don't know when this was released. I think it was like 2020 maybe. Um, you guys can let me know if y'all remember, but I think it was 2020. And I remember buying this entire collection. <laughs> so I pulled this one. You guys, if you have not been watching me, um, if you don't know this about me, purple is my most favorite color. And I would buy all of the purple polishes um, if I didn't feel guilty about it. <laughs> I feel like I need to have some other polishes. But for sure, purple is my most black color. Um, this is um, Bees Knees Lacquer. This is another brand that I buy. I'm really drawn to. Um, and I'm really glad that she decided to like come back and start making polishes because I know that she um, has some health issues and like had to drop out for a while. So I'm glad that she's um, still making polishes. Um, this is what we from the what we do in the shadows collection. I did buy a lot of those, and I bought I bought those like before I had even seen the show or like knew anything about the show, um, just because oh my gosh, y'all, this is just insane, so pretty. Um, my bees needs lacquers are not in order on here, so we're just gonna roll with it. This is Dementor, and it says magic. Oh, it's a magnetic Lore Olympus. Okay. <laughs> I can't see with these glasses. I'm going to try to show you guys the, I have like an itty bitty magnet here. Maybe this will work. Um, magnetic pull. If I can show it to you. Oh, it's really, really um, reactive. Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. That's going to be gorgeous. Hmm. I'm excited about that. And it is another multi-chrome. Um, so as I was telling you guys, I really did try to pick from some like like older brands. You know, some of them don't make polishes anymore. Some of them I fell in love with like as soon as I started collecting polishes. Um, but I just wanted to give them some love. They're just sitting in my drawer and a lot of them are untried. Um, but this one I think is perfect for... Um, fall is called Puking Pumpkins and it's from the brand Painted Phalanges. Do you guys remember Painted Phalanges? I remember those those videos very fondly because like when I first started watching YouTube videos, um, I used to love her videos. Um, hopefully she's still around somewhere. I don't know. I, I feel like maybe I'm, it's possible I've missed out on something. Um, this is from her... Halloween after party, September 2019 is when she was making polishes, but look at that. Orange with like some holographic glitters and some orange and light orange glitters. It's going to be perfect. Um, this is another one that's really old. Um, I also am not a cream polish wearer. Like I have a hard time being drawn to creams. I just like, I like the bling. Um, so I have to focus my attention to pull green, to pull my cream polishes when I do my racks. Otherwise I'll ignore them. <laughs> but this is Deep Fried Turkey from Native War Paints. Um, and this is another brand. You guys can comment down below, like let me know. I don't think this one's making polishes anymore. I also like sometimes think that brands rebrand and then I don't, know <laughs> that they're a rebrand but this is just like a basic like brown that i think you know thanksgiving mani some stamping whatever for that one um this is blush polish royal street rebel this is another one i don't believe they're making polish anymore my friend carolina used to swatch for this brand um so if you're watching carolina like give us the beats um but i think this is really pretty i think this one will be a transitional polish too because it's not super dark um i pulled one from sort colors this is neo it's another um like gorgeous multi-crown ah the shiftiness is so dark and deep and vampy i have no idea what the base is on this it looks like maybe a i don't know <laughs> no clue 
Um, but multi-chrome madness there. I don't think this is a, this isn't a magnetic. I don't think it is. Sometimes I don't know. Most of the time I can tell, but sometimes I, I don't know. Oh, wait. I feel like it was doing something, but it wasn't. Okay, so next row, back to Bees Needs Lacquer. Actually, no. Um, I'm going to go now to some of the polishes that were on my summer rack, or, summer rack that I transitioned to my fall rack. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six of those. Who knows if I'll get around to wearing them? Seven. Seven of them. Um, I'll use these for transition transition polishes for sure. Knowledge Reclaimed from August PPU, Rogue Lacquer. Um, I thought this was going to be perfect for summer, but of course, did not get around to wearing it. Um, Fair Maiden, City Lights and Country Nights. I got this at the Polish Beauty Expo from 2021. Lots of sparkle shiftiness there. Uh, this is from Cuticula. Um, Sunbur Sunburst Carousel, June 2022 Polish Pickup. I obviously have a lot of Polish pickup polishes. Look at that though. I love the purple glitters in this one. I'm curious. I think that this one could probably be worn maybe as a top or two, so we'll see. Um, I have another wildflower lacquer. This is I Beg Your Pardon from her Guilty Pleasures collection from um looks like I can't tell. <laughs> um, I think it's June 2022 PPU. This is definitely going to be transitional. I'll have to get this on my nails soon so that, um, you know, it doesn't kind of float into my fall polishes because it's, it's too bright for that, for sure. Um, I have an ethereal lacquer. This is Sunset Ophidia. I don't remember when this was released for um, ethereal lacquer, but it's a really pretty, like, it's like a creamy white base with uh, shifty shimmer and like some, I don't know. It's like it a little bit, maybe like a drop of pink or purple in it. So that one will be transitional. This is Neon from PPU Rewind 2022. Apparently I didn't pick this up the first time and I went back and picked it up. I wasn't really into like um, neons for a while, like when I first started collecting polish. I really did not want neons. And then when I started wanting neons, I wanted all the neons. So I got a lot of neons to go through. <laughs> um, this is Bees Knees Lacquer, The Crone from, so little, Kingdom of the Wicked. Um, it's really, really pretty. It's like a blurple with a lot of like um, silver micro glitters. And this shift, you guys. I don't know if you guys can see it. I wish you could see what I see. But it's really beautiful. Okay, now to back to the fall polishes. Um, this is one that was a late pull. <laughs> After I was going back through my drawers, I was like, ugh. I didn't pull a rogue. I didn't pull a fall rogue. So I was like, I need a fall rogue. Not the gumdrop buttons from Holiday Advent 2022. Um, I also like to wear my Prugly polishes during the fall because for some reason I'm definitely not drawn to them during the summer or spring um, or even winter. But fall for some reason I'm like, bring me all the Prugly polishes. So I try to wear shades like this, like um, like browns and like olive greens um, that I typically would not wear. Yellow is another color that I typically do not wear, but I did pull this, an another one from Rogue. This is Squash Goals um, from, it looks like it says Autumn Prisms Collection. I don't remember when this collection released either, but this is one of the probably two or three, like, it's not yellow, it's gold polishes <laughs> that I have on my rack because I don't like yellow. It just doesn't look good on me. Well, no, it does look good on me, but I just don't like it. Um, but I force myself to buy yellow polishes and put them on my racks because they do look good on me. Um, this particular gold, I'm not so sure about though. We'll see what happens with that one. Back to BC's Lacquer. What have the Dark Lord Rot? Um, what we, this is another one from the What We Do in the Shadows collection. Again, it's kind of that brownie, greeny kind of, 
I don't consider this so ugly though. This is still really beautiful to me, even though I don't like greens, but I think it's just the shift that I'm drawn to. Um, so it's not a ugly for me. Um, this is perhaps I should turn you into a toad. This is from April, 2022. Um, and this was like, I think a group custom in the like olive lovers group. Oh my gosh, y'all. Like, I remember being so excited about this one. Like insanely excited and all of this like olive green is another color that I just don't like on my nails but the fact that it's like reflective and that blue glow oh my god I'm here for it um this is the forever king I remember when I bought this one too and really wanting to wear this one I'll finally get it on my nails um up the so it's up empire no not up it's just signifying that there's unicorn pee in here um unicorn of the vampire um so i'm hoping that i haven't worn this like there was it there's like a little bit of a fill line so i'm like did i wear this i don't know i finally worked out a system for remembering what my untrieds are because for a while i was like re-wearing them and i couldn't remember wearing them the first time um so this might have been before i did that system now i put like a little sticker on it if i've worn them but it's okay it's really beautiful i'll wear it again and i have some ethereals this is copperhead i remember um i don't remember what this uh collection was based off of let me know <laughs> in the comments if you guys remember but i bought a lot from this collection and they were like snake names um, so this is Copperhead, and I think there's like a Venom, and like, yeah. You guys let me know, because I don't remember, but this is really, really beautiful. I don't know what you would consider this shade to be, um, but it's got like beautiful holographic, like, shimmer in it. Um, this one is Butterfly Bobble. Um, for a while, I was really obsessed with the ethereal polishes, and I purchased a lot of them, so, but then it kind of, like, um, transitioned to me loving other brands, and so I bought less of them, but I still have a lot of untries from that brand. This is from June, oh my gosh, y'all, 2022. Um, Monarch? I think that's the name of the, no, I don't know. It's from her Monarch, Monarch collection. <laughs> I really wish I could remember more information about these polishes, but like, oh my gosh, all like, that's beautiful. Screaming Paul, uh, screaming fall vibes. This is Hest Hestia. I think that's what it says. Hestia. This is from um, Hella Handmade Creations in August of 2020. Um, so this is like a way older polish. And I can't believe I never wore it. I'm sure it's probably been on my fall rack before and I just didn't get to it, but y'all. Mm. It's gorgeous. And totally giving me fall vibes as well. This is from Under the Mountain, Nuala. This is from um, Court of Thorns and, Thorns and Roses. And I bought this from that collection. I had not even, I didn't even know anything about the series. Now I have almost finished the series. I'm on the last one. Um, and I love it. I freaking love it. Um, so it's kind of funny that I have some polishes from that collection. But this is super gorgeous. It looks almost black, but I think it's like, it's like a deep, deep purple base. Um... So, like, I don't know. I feel like it's going to look really dark on the nails because it's got, like, black holographic shimmer. Really beautiful. Um, this is Viper, again, from that collection. I don't know with the snakes. <laughs> this is what I would consider a Prugly polish. This olive like, this is a Prugly polish to me. I will have to do something with this to make it desirable for me to have it on my nails for a whole day. Um, like some stamping or nail art or something. I don't know, something. 
Um, this is October 2023 PPU Red Hot Flannel. This is also a magnetic. This is very recent, 2023, um, from Caloristic Carol. And I remember falling in love with this magnetic on this polish. Like, oh my gosh, y'all. So pretty. I had to have it. So I'm so excited about wearing this one. It's very unique to my collection, which I have been trying to do. I have cut down on buying polishes. So when I buy polishes, I try to buy the ones that are unique to my collection because I just have so many. Um, and that one's super unique to my collection. This is Mistress of Evil. This is a thermal. This is from PPU Rewind, July 2021, Fancy Gloss. I have no idea what this transitions to. It's from 2021, so I don't know um, if it'll even transition but we're gonna see. Um, Fancy Gloss is still around. I just don't have a lot of polishes from that brand and they do amazing thermals. Like they kill it with thermals. So I'm excited about that one. I hope it still transitions because if it does, it's gonna be good. Um, this is Cheeky Nuggets. Um, it's a thermal from PPU December 2022 from the brand Heather's Hughes. I don't think Heather's Hughes is making polish anymore or they rebranded or something. Um, but funny story about this, Chicky Nuggets. Ask me why I have two of them. <laughs> I do not know. I have no idea why I have two of them. I don't know. I have no clue. One of them is going in a stash, and hopefully it still transitions. Um, if not, it's still a really beautiful color, not transitioning. Very like muted gray with like some shifty shimmer. Looks like from like green to maybe red. Really, really gorgeous. You guys are going to be like so like what? <laughs> when I show this polish, I had to have one one extremely non-fall polish on my rack. And this is a brand that I have, I don't think I've ever worn this brand before. Um, I really don't think I have. And I have very, like maybe three or four from this brand. This is um, Morgan Taylor. And this is Hip Hop Coral. All of the polishes that I have from this brand, none of them are like fall appropriate. This is the closest one I could find to being fall appropriate. And I just pulled it because it has like a little orange shimmer running through it. But it is insanely bright. It's even brighter than what it's coming across on the camera. Um, so transitional polish for sure. I need to get it on my nails. Um, so I do swatch for Kathleen and Co. Um, I also do purchase a lot from her brand because I don't swatch everything. Um, I never get a chance to wear them because I'm like, I don't, I don't pull from them because I swatch from that brand so much. I want to wear them. So I pulled a few. This is Headless Horseman, um, Kathleen and Co. Y'all. The perfection of this polish related to fall, <laughs> it is so fall appropriate. I am loving it and I'm excited about wearing that one. This is another Kathleen and Co. This is Predator from October 2021 Polish Pickup. I do have quite a few. Um, mm. <laughs> I just like love it's like Christmas for me, you know, like showing you guys my polish and like pulling polishes because I forget what I have. It's really exciting for me. It speaks to my heart. Um, I have a few Bluebird lacquers. This is, um, I cannot see, Stardust Yourself Off from Sparkle and Shine, October 2022. I don't know if Bluebird... So does the sparkle and shine box i'm not sure but i did swatch that box for a while and so i got um some polishes um from bluebird lacquer that way but i also do it's another brand that i purchase from quite often um this is what is this i've already worn this one so i may skip it but this is not all heroes where is it crepes no, capes. Not all here is where capes is from June 2021 polish pickup. It is like fall perfection in the bottle. It's very, very shimmery. Um, it needs to be shaken up. It's got a little bit of ugly bottle syndrome, 
but um, I don't remember wearing this, so it'll be like I'm wearing it for the first time. And 2021 would be too far for me to go back and look at pictures, although I might do that and see if I can find a swatch of it just because it would be fun. <laughs> Um, another blue board that I turned, uh, not turned, that I chose is um, Rainstorming Session. It looks like this is a magnetic. This is from March PPU 2023. So this is it. Not magnetized. Hello Fall. Those, um, are those purple glitters? I can't tell if they're purple or blue, but man, they get me. Um, and there's a very obvious magnetic pull on that one. I love when polishes that are magnetic, um, like, pull to that, like, a deeper color, like a dark color, like a black or whatever. I love that. I love it so much. Um, this is Lindby Designs. Oh, you know what? I bet that... Um, this, uh, the Bluebird Lacquer, I think it's possible that I haven't worn it as a full mani, so that might, I might still wear it. Because if I haven't worn it as a full mani, if I just swatched it, then I'm going to want to get it on my nails. And Lin B Designs is another, um, um, another maker, another brand that I swatch for, so I have a ton of Limby designs. I don't swatch for her as much anymore, um, but this is Blood of My Blood. Um, it's gorgeous. Um, I really love um, Limby Designs formulas. Um, she just makes gorgeous polishes, um, and I swatched for her for a long time, so I want to wear some of the polishes. <laughs> This one has a sticker on it, so I know it's been at least swatched, but probably not worn as a full mani. Cold Hands Warm Heart from December 2020, 20, December 2021, gosh, I can't talk, PPU. This is different dimensions. I have not a ton, but a good amount of different dimension polishes. I also don't think she's making polishes anymore. Um, you guys can let me know if you know, if she's making polishes, does she rebrand or something? Like, let me know. I did swatch for her for a little while, so I have more polishes than I would have had I not swatched for her. <laughs> but I think this will be perfect for, um, fall, but also it'll probably be a transition for me. This is a yellow polish that I chose um, for a couple of reasons. Number one is the thermal. It's a thermal from 2021. Um, this is called Drifting. Drifting. Um, this is from the Polish Gamers box from the band, from the brand MTK Designs. Um, I feel like they're still making polish, are they? I don't know, but I don't have very many polishes from this brand, so I pulled this one, number one, because it is, it fits my, um, need to pull yellow polishes, even though it's more goldy, um, and it has, like, um, some ugly bottle syndrome, so I'm thinking maybe it pulls, um, or it transitions to white. We're gonna see. Do you still transition? I don't know. We'll see. If I can test it before I, when I edit this video, I'll show you guys if it transitions. Um, I pulled some polish for days. This is Full Moon from 2022 Moonlit Metals. Um, I don't know <laughs> what to say about this polish. It's just gorgeous. Um, it's like silver micro glitters with black glitter. It's going on my nails for fall. Um, if not for fall, it'll definitely transition for winter as well. The other, another polish for days. And somebody else pulled this polish as well for um, their fall rack. Um, this is August 2023 PPU um, Interstellar. Interstellar. I feel like I've been wanting to wear this for a long time. I feel like it's been on my fall rack a few times. This time I'm going to get it worn. Um, another polish for days, Wherever You Dwell from her Haunted Glow collection in 2023. I bought a lot of these. 
um, from that collection. And I want to say there was like Haunted Glow and then there was like Spring Glow or Summer Glow or something. <laughs> Where it was like, um, you know, like brighter colors, but I think this is very fall appropriate. And of course, multi chrome. Um, and then I pulled one from Enchanted. Enchanted is another brand that is not around anymore, but they are famous for their um, formulas. I didn't have any Enchanted polishes. A friend sent me some like for my birthday and I was so excited to get them. So now I have four, in, four Enchanted polishes to try. This one's from January, 2017. Like this was from before I was even painting my nails. Like I didn't start being crazy about polish until 2018. So definitely um, excited about having this one. I think it's a black base with like holographic shimmer. Next row. Oh my gosh, y'all. Where are we at time-wise? 33 minutes. This is going to be an insanely long video. I might split it in two because it's gonna have to be a part one, part two. This is Sassy Pants Polish. Um, I'm talking as fast as I can and it's still not fast enough. Victorian Age, I don't know what year this released because it's not on here. But I'm guessing, I'm pretty sure that this was a polish pickup um, polish, but look how perfect, like, wait, wait, no. The Charity Box from October 2021. It says Steampunk, so I guess that's the, the like, theme. Um, look at that. I have to wear it. <laughs> I pulled this and I was like, oh my God, how have I not worn this before? Like it is, I don't know. I don't know what it is about this one. It's the combination of the glitters. It also has like lavender, um, like matte glitters. <clears throat> so pretty. KB Shimmer, um, this is Slay Cozy, which, I mean, that doesn't say fall, I don't know what it does. <laughs> this is definitely, definitely fall. I feel like I'm... So, apparently my um, phone decided it didn't want to record anymore. It takes a grammar and not a space, so yeah. That's what had happened. Um, we were on KB Shimmer, <laughs> Blurple. Really, really pretty. Um, one more KB Shimmer. This is Solar Flare. This is also magnetic. I love wearing magnetics during the fall too. I will take the time. I will put in the extra time on a magnetic during the fall. I don't know why. I just think they are so pretty on the nails. Um, this one, again, super uh, reactive with the magnet. Multi-chrome doing all the things it's supposed to do for me. What base is this in? I don't know, but we're not gonna talk about it because this video is already long. <laughs> I have another fair maiden. This is Euphoria and I have no information on this, like when it released or anything. Ooh, and the bottle is also a little bit clean. Um, I didn't have time to shake these. Uh, but it's another multi-chrome. This is a unique shade when it comes to multi-chromes as far as like what I've been pulling for fall. So I wanted to pull something that's a little bit different and um, Fair Maiden, which is not Fair Maiden anymore. Is it? I can't remember what it rebranded to. Garden Path Blackers maybe? Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, it's definitely, it's it's a very interesting color. I can't even describe it really because it's it's blue, but it's like gray. It's also a little bit teal. <laughs> I don't know. I pulled another Fair Maiden. This is from, uh, this is PPU's five year anniversary. Metamorphosis 2.0, April, 2022. I just feel like this is so fall. And it's also not shaking up, super, super shifty. Um, this is going to look like leaves on the nail. I'm really about like brown, um, or red, like flakes looking. Cause I think they look like leaves on the nail and I'm here for it when it comes to fall. So that one's going to be really pretty. 
I pulled a couple from Atomic Polish. This is from Polish Pickup, February 2021, um, Light the Path. I told you guys I love these deep, vampy blues. Um, obviously, darker than how you doing, but oh my gosh. I love these so much. One of my favorites is from OPI. It's um, Chopsticks and Stones, is it? I think it's like a like a deep blue like this one. It's one of my favorite polishes. Um, I almost pulled that one to put on my rack, but I've worn it twice because <laughs> I love it so much. Um, this is I Love Juice from Hella Handmade Creations, November 2021. Somebody else pulled this one as well. I don't remember who it was, but obviously, I mean, this one is a little bit more red than it is like coppery or bronze, um, but really, really pretty. This is Cadillacer Nikita. It's a thermal from Polish Pickup, February 2022. Um, curious to see if this transitions. It's doing the ugly bottle thing, but it is like a black base with some pink, um, like matte glitters. What do you guys think it transitions to? Maybe pink or white? Cause it's got the like white ugly bottle syndrome thing going on. So maybe it transitions to white. We are gonna see. Um, this is another brand that I have. I don't have very many polishes from this brand and I'm not sure if they're still making polishes. Um, so I pulled the one out of all the ones that I had that was even remotely close to <laughs> summer or fall. I'll use it as a transition, but this is People of Color, um, Low and Slow. And my friend um, Josephine did a collab with this brand. And Josephine, if you're watching this, was this one that was from your collab? I feel like it was, because I feel like I like specifically purchased for that reason because I love you. Um, but this is a really pretty like pinky polish with blue shimmer. Um, this is another brand that I have not seen anywhere um, anytime recently. And um, I don't even remember where I got this from. I don't, I don't remember, but I remember really wanting it. I think I got it from a D-Stash. Um, this is called Golden Horn, and it's from July 2021 is when it was released. There's some other stuff on here that I don't understand. <laughs> but um, look how pretty that is. It has like purple glitters, and I don't, what brand is this? What's the name of this brand? Mm, I'm going to take my glasses off so I can see. And I still don't know. It's like, it's like in Chinese or something. <laughs> I don't know. But it is so pretty. Like, look at that. It's got the bronzy thing going on, but with those purple glitters popping through. Mm. As you guys might have noticed, I do not have a lot of creams on my rack. And I'm feeling some kind of way about that. Like, why didn't I put more creams? But I did put this one. This is from Dimension Nails Owl Butterfly. I do not think this brand is making polishes anymore. Um, because I want to say, like, maybe when they were about to stop making polishes, I went in and bought some because they had a sale. And I was like, ooh, I need to buy some of their polishes. So I got this cream. It's a kind of like a light brown, I guess. Yeah, I will call it a light brown. It's lighter than the other brown that I have. Out of the creams for me to pull, like it's lighter than this one. Not by much, but by a little bit. Yeah, apparently. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, so speaking of creams, this is another cream that I pulled from a brand that is no longer making polish. This is from KL Polish. Um, it's called Peanut Butter. And it's got ugly bottle syndrome, so I'm trying to shake it so you guys can actually see the true color of it, which you're not gonna be able to, but because it's like darker up here. But I feel like it's closer to this color or maybe like somewhere in the middle. I'm kind of concerned that maybe it will not look good with my skin tone, but we're gonna see. 
I'm willing to try. Um, another KL polish, this is Jane. I feel like this one's gonna be a transitional one. It is like a mauve color. Um, ugly bottle syndrome going on. I need, I'm gonna pop these into my polish shaker and sh give them a good shake. So they should be okay, but um, that's another cream that I pulled. I have a few Night Owl lacquers. This is Crisp Air from Fall 2019. 2019, you guys, I need to wear Night Owl lacquer. Pretty dang close. <laughs> This one, the Night Owl Lecker has like some holographic glitters. I would say they are almost <clears throat> identical. I'm gonna have to make a comparison because they are almost identical. Maybe this one has like a deeper red shimmer. We're gonna see. I'm going to definitely compare those two because I'm so curious, but I definitely need to get this on the nails from 2019. Um, Night Owl Lacquer Wordy Birdie from May 2021 Polish Pickup. Gray with those leaves. <laughs> you know, with the flakies that look like neat, that look like leaves. I love them. Night Owl Lacquer Magic Itself from August 2021 PPU. Um, it's a gorgeous, like, berry shade, but it's a multi-chrome. It's shifting, um, what is it shifting to? Green? green to gold maybe i don't know i'm not good with the shifts but it's really really pretty and also pretty unique to my rack i think as far as multi crumbs go i don't think i have another one quite in that shade um this is scaff law polish i don't think they're making polishes anymore either um i have a few that i've been wanting to wear this is my pleasures please no my pleasures plead the fifth. No idea what that means, but look how gorgeous this is. I am so in love with this transition polish. I'm definitely gonna get this on pretty soon. Jayreen, I think they're still making polishes, but I don't purchase from this brand anymore. Um, but I do have a few polishes that I wanna wear. This is Yummy Bubbles. The, it's from the Charity Box in September 2021. Um, it's a obvious transitional polish, but I think I can use it in fall because it's got the, the, like the black flakies. I wish you could see um, my cat. He is sitting at the door just like staring at me. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Creeper, creeper. Um, this is from Dom Nail Polish. I never know if it's Dom or Dam. I think it's Dom. Um, Traumatic Static from PPU 2023. Um, it's a reflective September 2023. So just about a year ago, this one came out. And I love their reflectives. They mm, have the reflective polish formula down to a T. I buy so many of their reflectives. And I recently bought a bunch from them at the Polish and Beauty Expo, which by the way, I have a huge haul. It's probably gonna be like a four part haul for the Polish and Beauty Expo coming to you soon. I promise I'm gonna get those out. I, I have to. <laughs> I'm on a mission. Um, Gin and Berries, another multi chrome. This is from September 2021. Star Trek Villains. Um, resistance was futile. And look at that. Pretty unique multi chrome, I think, to my rack. Like, I don't have anything quite like this. So, I'm excited to wear that one. Gin and Berries, still making polish, still beautiful polishes. Like, I love her. She's so sweet. Um, LaBelle Endure Me. Don't really know what that means. This is a polish polish. So I wanted to get this one on my nails for fall. Like, look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, this is just gonna like bounce off the nails. It's got some beautiful gold glitters. Another one from Polish, this is Totoro. Um, and it was from Polish Pickup. I'm not sure what year or month it was. I feel like this might be a thermal maybe not i don't know i honestly can't remember but we're gonna see we're gonna try it and see do you guys remember this polish look how pretty it is if any of you picture this polish 
Um, is this the thermal? It's not on the label, so I don't know, but we're gonna see. It has a like slight gold shift that is gorgeous. Um, we're almost to the end, you guys. Well, almost to the end of my indie polishes. <laughs> I'm gonna do a part two for my um, mainstreams. This is ILNP Joy. Um, ILNP recently had a like sale on Amazon and I picked up a few of them and I think this is really pretty. This actually might end up being um, a Halloween polish because I think it's perfect for Halloween. It's like red, like blood red. So, um, and the holographic glitter in here, oh my gosh, so pretty. I definitely want to wear that one during fall. Another ILNP that I picked up recently, Dark Matter. I feel like this is a magnetic. I could be wrong, but let me, it's definitely a magnetic. <laughs> okay, so that's it, non-magnetized. It's very interesting. It's like a gunmetal gray, um, but the shift, oh my gosh, it's very, very pretty. I can't wait to try this and see really what it looks like in the nail, but look how reactive that is. This is going to be gorgeous. It has a like deep, um like red like base it looks like very interesting excited about that one pulled one from noodles nail polish um this is a very old one as well i have quite a few noodles polishes that i haven't worn um this is chills and thrills i pulled this one for the name alone <laughs> i was like how can this not be a fall polish? And I also don't really have anything like this um, on my rack. It's going to be really interesting on the nose, and I think it's going to be perfect for fall. Um, one of the toppers that I did pull for my rack, this is Batra from Beezy's Lacquer. This has been on my rack several different times for several different seasons, and I have yet to wear it. So I'm going to wear it. I am going to wear it. We're going to do something with this one because it is a gorgeous topper. Like, look how pretty that is. The um, shimmer in here is like a pinky shimmer, I want to say. Um, and it's in a clear base, so all you're seeing is shimmer, and it's really pretty. So I'm excited to wear that one as a topper for fall. Okay, we are done. We are done. We made it through super long i know i'll try to cut it down at least a little bit i'm not good at that i'm not good at doing short videos either anybody who's been watching my videos you can go back and look at all my videos in the past they're all long especially my like seasonal rack videos ridiculous anywho um we're gonna end this portion now i'm gonna do like a second part for my mainstreams because there's not that many so it'll be a shorter part um, to my fall rack, but thank you guys for joining me. Um, don't forget to check out the other participants. They'll be listed down below. Um, let me know what you guys are wanting to wear for fall. I'll be super excited to chit chat with you guys because it's been so long. I miss you guys. I miss my peoples. Um, so definitely comment down below. What are you excited for for fall? Um, yeah, that's it. Um, I love you guys so, so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.